So welcome back. So you may recall last time we were in Everlook at, at the end of the episode, and what we've actually done today is I kind of just took the run west over here to Denova. And uh, we have one quest to turn in here, Strange Sources. So we're going to talk to Denova, complete the quest. What do we get? 8,500 experience. Cool. And the cloak itself is pretty standard, but uh, it's actually not a bad cloak. Great cloak for rogue, maybe warrior, hunter, uh, but not for us. We've got a better cloak. So. No, uh, we're actually going to completely change directions here. We're going to leave Winter Spring. Uh, the reason why we're doing that is because... Ooh, it's, a, it's like a Scourge invasion here going on. But the reason why we're leaving Winter Spring is because uh, all the quests in Eastern Plaguelands have been revamped because Nexramus launches today, actually, on the server. And given that, uh, I've, I've never really done a lot of those quests, or it's been so long. I think it'd be kind of fun to go over there and work on our leveling. We haven't really done anything in the Eastern Plaguelands yet, or very little. Um, so we do have quite a trek to get over here, but I think it's uh, gonna be the way to go. So quests all over the place, especially down in Light's Hope Chapel. Uh, and of course the only way to get there for us, the quickest way is probably to har uh, hearth the Orgrimmar, obviously. And then we're gonna just run to the Zeppelin Tower over here, Zeppelin Undercity, and then I think I don't know what flight paths we have here. I think we have the one in... Are there even any Horde flight paths in Western Plaguelands? I don't think there are. So, you can see uh, the Scourge invasion is beginning, or the uh, Next Armist invasion, and all these low-level apparitions are everywhere. Um, but yeah, unfortunately we're going to have to make a pretty long run <laughs> to get to Eastern Plaguelands, especially the Light's Hope Chapel, which is no problem. Uh, but to do that run, I'm going to just go ahead and cut the video. Just want to let you guys see the quest turn in there and kind of spell out the game plan. I think this is the Undercity Zeppelin. Undercity. Yep. Right anyway, so we just uh, we'll be back once we get all the way to Eastern Plaguelands, which is probably going to be a good, good 10 to 15 minutes of just traveling. So we'll be right back. Welcome to Light's Hope Chapel. So uh, it actually took me a little while to get over here. Probably, truthfully, probably a good 20 minutes or so. We actually. <laughs> We really did have to take the Zeppelin over Undercity and then run all the way east over here, which was a little insane. Uh, things are uh, fairly active out here right now, and I'm just hoping not to get killed. Um, well, let's side. <sighs> the reason being that there are obviously a lot of Alliance and Horde out here, and apparently this is too far away from the Argent Dawn to get over here. Um, <laughs> well, so here we go. Uh, the uh, wonderful world of uh, vanilla World of Warcraft, the world PvP. I want to try and Soulstone Res, see if I can get close enough to a guard that it'll protect me if I get shot at. Uh, I wanted to actually grab that quest over there, but I kind of couldn't very easily. So, the reason why there's so many people here is because, as I mentioned kind of earlier, is Nexaramus is now released, actually. So it's been, uh, side note, uh, editor's note, it's been like two days since I actually made the trek over here to EPL. I, uh, cut off after <laughs> getting over here. So it's been a couple days. It's actually Monday, which is, um, like two days after the launch of Nexaramus. So Nexaramus is out. Um, I have about a, eh, 900 people on right now. But you see quite a few are in Eastern Plaguelands, uh, because this is the new place to raid, so people are hanging out here. So let's start grabbing... So all these quests, Corruptor Scourge Stones, we're gonna start grabbing quests, Invader Scourge Stones, Minion Scourge Stones, these are all quests you pick up just from uh, having this Argent Dawn commission item equipped, which uh, we're gonna do that for now. And we're gonna have the Boomerang uh, not on in inventory, because I think the Boomerang isn't that useful, and collecting Argent Dawn rep is worth it. The Archivist is actually a Stratholm quest. Uh, we're not going to do that instance right now. Uh, we do have the Flesh Does Not Lie. Um, these are in Stratholm also. Blade Hatchings, I think, is... Shalomance, okay. Skolomance, whatever. Uh, it's going to say, I think it's instance. How are uh, this you? one. <laughs> this requires you to... How do you get these? I forget how you get these. These are from Exoramus bosses, I think, also. But even... I think any boss of any instance will have a chance of dropping these things. These are really nice items, actually. We need quite a bit to get them. And epic armaments, yeah, you need quite a bit to get these also. Like, this is not a quest we're going to be completing anytime soon, but this gear is so good. 
seriously very good gear. Um, but well <laughs> we won't be we won't be buying any of that anytime soon. Uh, we're gonna keep looking through all the quests over here. Um, find an error in the scourge attack. Go there and damage an Acropolis by defeating the scourge around them. Return. Then if they're in a crowded room, to Commander Thomas Hellerian at Light Oaks Chapel. Get some wizard oil or sharpening stones. Cool. Oh yeah, this quest, uh, Light Oaks Chapel quest. We picked this up. Where is it? Do, 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 do. I'm. We picked this up outside of uh, Undercity as I was running in. So this was actually, if you're wondering why we have this quest, uh, that was off camera. Complete the quest. This is just the quest that basically sends you over here. And as it turns out, I thought you would even get, oh, get Arjun Don Rep. Whatever, I'll take it. I was like, do we get anything for that quest? I thought we'd actually get a little bit of experience, but yeah. It's just the quest that tells you there's invasions going on and sends you over here. Savage Bronze, if you do. Um, Ooh, Insignia and the Crusade and Dawn. Okay, we'll grab that. I don't really know. I actually don't remember what that quest's all about, but we'll pick it up anyway. Oh, there's more in here. There's so many quests, and so I know it's kind of slow, but I, I want to just go through and grab them all. I don't remember them all. Uh, Strat. We're not going to go to Strat today. And Bite of the Dreadnought. Dark Iron Scraps. We don't have any Dark Iron Scraps. Uh, we're not going to be getting them out here very easily, so we're not going to worry about that too much. Hello. The elemental equation. 30 core of elements. Okay, so these are all quests we collect and bring these. I remember these now. I, I know what's going on here. Um, Crypt Fiend armor parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How? How? Argent Sentry. What in the hell did I do? How did I. What did I do? I think people may be abusing things a little bit out here. Uh, did I right click an Argent Sentry or something? Well, we might die a lot this episode. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> oh god. Uh, horrific. Okay. Um, maybe I made a mistake. Maybe maybe Eastern Plagueland is not the place to be for someone trying to level. Uh, so I want to talk to this last quest giver in here. This person in the I think it's Huntsman Leopold I want to speak to. Um, and then over here, there's a couple more quests. Smokey LaRue has some older quests. Uh, I don't remember what Dispatch Commander Met's quest is. And then we'll go back and grab this one from the guy that's over in the corner there that we got killed at the first time. <laughs> wow, what did we die from? That's really scary. I feel like someone did something. I don't, I don't. I don't know. Hey there. Bone fragments, okay. We're not collecting those either right now. I mean, we'll, we'll collect some of these things on and off, but I don't need to go out of my way to keep the quest because those items drop regardless. Uh, I think these are both inside of instant strat. And that asking a lot is not an instance, but you actually need a lot of stuff for that. And I don't know, I've never actually done that quest. Have I? Maybe, maybe not. They call me the rooster. Argent Dawn Valor token. I'll hold on to that, just in case. Now, uh, there is a flight point out here, obviously. I want to grab it this, because that's super nice. Now, uh, I actually don't have as many quests as I was kind of expecting to have out here. Uh, but it's I've never done like the quest out here for the purpose of leveling up. Really? Like I've done a few. There's a few out here, but I've never really spent a lot of time on it. This guy's going to kill me again, isn't he? I guarantee I'm going to die again here. What can I do for you? The rest of the souls. See you around. Okay, we'll grab that and outcast. Okay, I know where that guy is. Zaldar. Gotcha. Okay. What is this guy selling? Anything good? Nope. Have a good one. Okay, we're getting out of here. So there are more quests over here and over here. I guess there's some up here, but I don't really know much about those. Um But primarily at the moment, let's see what I want to track. Let's turn this off, turn this off. Necrotic runes, which, yeah, okay. Uh, interesting. Oh, come on, leave me alone.
Look at how they still reaching me. Seriously? Huh. Impressive. I hope I can get away from this guy, because I'd really like to not die again. <laughs> My third death in like five minutes, but I think I'm good. Unless, as long as he doesn't have an epic mount, I'm, I'm, in, I'm totally fine. No, he very well might have an epic mount, because he looked like he was raid geared, which is generally a sign that someone can afford an epic mount. Not always, but like, you know, if, you, if you're if you raid geared, you probably are starting to buy the, the less necessary things, which can include, <laughs> can include a raid mount. So, um, these are quite a few quests. Strat is, unfortunately, like, up here. Oh, he's over here. Interesting. Okay, okay. Well, we're gonna go to the west then from here and uh, bail out from... <laughs> this is obviously a hotspot for high levels that are destroying us. Uh, we don't really want to mess with that. So, oh, we found, like, Meraldar. There's like some water elementals over here, these blighted surges. Kind of interesting. Um, we have a quest in here for Sister Pamela, and if we turn that quest in, then we have a quest to find Pamela's doll. <laughs> so I've got like the sniffles this morning for some reason, which is, I don't feel sick at all, just got sniffles. What's interesting is that if you watch my Legion videos, I just recently on my Worgen Warlock did a quest out here, uh, the same quest in Legion, and so it's kind of cool going back now and seeing it in vanilla again. Um, I remember the quest pretty well, actually, in Vanilla. I remember it being a really pain in, like, pain in the butt kind of quest, because the mobs that spawn when you're trying to collect this doll are actually not the easiest mobs in the world to uh, deal with. But I think we can handle it. Now, Zaildar, the outcast, apparently is over there. I don't remember ever doing that quest in Vanilla. Um, which I think is funny, because I, I think I did this quest in Legion recently, but I don't remember doing it in Vanilla at all, so... I don't know if it was always available in vanilla, or if it came out like around the Nexoramus patch time. Uh, the Nexoramus patch is like patch 1.11. It's like the Scourge Invasion patch, kind of. Um, yeah, and I don't remember if that patch introduced that quest, or if that quest always existed from like launch, and I just never took the time to do it, I guess, I don't know. Uh, that's probably the case. Untruthfully, I probably didn't forgot about it, or just never did it at all. So anyway, we actually found this quest, this uh, Sister Pamela. That was actually from Winterspring. It was from Everlook. So it's kind of interesting that there is a quest in Everlook that sends you to Eastern Platelands. Like at some point, Blizzard decided, okay, we need to find a way to send people over here. Let's uh, let's do that. Let's you know make a quest to send people to Eastern Platelands. Because truthfully, I mean Everlook way over here, Eastern Platelands way over here. Kind of a Kind of a trick if you don't know to go over there. Okay, well, the soul stone's wrecked because, uh, you know, we got killed twice already. 800 experience, and then we did find Pamela's doll. So Pamela's doll is split up between at least two of these houses here, maybe three. I usually think there's one over here. I'm gonna take a look. They're not the easiest of quests. At this level, we should be fine, but like, the mobs that spawn are kind of dangerous. There's Pamela's doll's head. Oh god. Okay, well, these things spawned quickly. Can I loot this while I'm in combat? That's really nice. Okay. We're just gonna nin ninja this thing real fast. And then we'll go ahead and kill these mobs because, I mean, we gotta kill them or run away from them. Might as well just kill them. And that should work. Okay. But, like, these guys hit hard. Look at how much health they've taken off Tang Moth, the two of them. And the other thing is they don't give any experience. Like, look at how little experience, um... Oh my god, this, they keep spawning? Uh, what? Wow. That sucks. They don't have an insane amount of health, like 4,000 health, but they just keep spawning, apparently. Um, and they frost shock you, and of course they can daze you. But these are tough mobs. For 55s, these wrecked us. Like, I mean, they're insanely deadly mobs for being only level 55. Um, let's get Tangmoth back up and then eat and drink. There's the doll head. It's a gnome. <laughs> Her doll is literally a gnome. That's gross. 
Anyway, so let's get our Voidwalker back up. And I guess I will eat and drink. And uh, I'm going to blow my nose because it's still running. Ooh, that's uh so much better. Uh, I was just like, man, my nose kept like I'm not sick at all. I just like woke up this morning. I guess didn't like allergies or something going on. Okay, so we've got the first part of Pamela's doll, and we need I think two more parts: the light, the left half, and the right half of the body. I think at this point, I'm just gonna like I think they're both in this house. I think I just covered over one there. There might be one over here. I don't remember exactly. No, it looks like they're both. I thought there's a chance that one of them could be in there. It looks like they're both in here. I'm just gonna have Tang Moth like tank everything while I grab everything else. How much dolls parts in here at all? I'm gonna fear these guys. They'd be really nice. Not surprised. Not surprised. Like a tank moth needs to tank everything as best as possible. Um, apparently the other one isn't in here. I missed it. I'm gonna run away now. Oh God, frost shock. Oh my man. I'm no way. There's no way I'm gonna heal out of this. Is I might as well just die. You see what I mean? This quest is insane. <laughs> like I. They, it was five of them that spawned. They spawned so fast, there's like no way to safely get out of there. Um, now we gotta find Pamela's right side. I think it's in that room, but now I'm not so sure because I didn't see it. Maybe I scrolled over and missed it. Uh, what is it even called? Pamela's doll? Pamela's doll. Okay, let's res. Get our void walker back up. You gotta do the usual uh, kind of recovery thing here. You cannot wait till we're done with this quest. This quest has always been a pain. Like it's, it's always been way harder than you think it would be. Oh man, I need to get some mana going. All right, let's drink one more time. I'm trying to figure out where um, Emma's doll is actually at. Like I'm, like, I'm looking online and checking, because I think I know. Hmm. I think they can spawn in one or two places, so I'm going to double check that I'm not way off on this. My, my only concern now, what was that? The right side is over there. Interesting. Okay, well that's not what I expected. My only concern now was that like the spot where they spawned, those mobs are gonna like stay there now, and we're gonna go like if like if for example I had to go back upstairs in this house to get that other one, there would already be five mobs there plus a couple more would spawn. But I think that's not the case. I think I'm in the clear on that. Pamela's doll right side is apparently in there. Okay. I don't see any mobs. Right side. Did I miss it the first time? Has it always been in there? Alright, let's grab this and get out of here. This is the last part. Left side, right side, head. <laughs> Alright, we're going. We're done. Get Tang Moth to whack this guy if he can get to him in time before I die. And then I'm running. I mean, obviously I'm running. <laughs> but, yeah, there's no turning back now. Oh man, this is a, these quests, like, they just hit way too hard. They, I mean, not like, not to the point that it's 
in the world or anything super broken, but they, they just hit very hard for level 55 mobs, and they're they're tough because they spawn instantly. So like if I didn't have a Void Walker, I would have to kill them, uh, or have like a Hunter's Pet or something to distract them. So it's not easy. It's just like surprisingly tough for like a level. What level is this quest anyway? 55. It's it's really like honestly, I think closer to like level 60 quest. Okay, 4100 experience. Auntie Marlene, south of the ruins of Anderhall. Okay, you can try to find her. And find Carlin Redpath. Okay, we can try to find Carlin. And then there is still... some point, back here, this little locked chest that I, is related to a quest, but not just yet. Uh, now, I want to head over this way and talk to Tyrion Fordren. And also, if we can, if this guy's still alive, is Nathaniel's Blight Caller. Uh, our quest log's getting pretty full now. And thinking about it, I mean, we might, we very well might run Black Rack Depths sometime soon, but I'm just looking at these quests. Ursius, we can pick back up in Everlook if we ever go back to Everlook. Um, well, I'm going to keep that quest. That is a long quest chain, that one. And if we ever go run Sunken Temple, that's going to be really nice to have. Yeah, we can dump the Black Rack Depths quest. Like we're not we're not running those anytime soon. It's fine. And yeah, yeah. And Rise of the Machines. Okay, just wanted to clear out a little bit of quest space because I know we're gonna pick up a few more, and we're already at we're at like 19 at that point. Now, down here is Zaldar himself. So we just need to sneak in here. I don't know if sneaking is the right word. We need to, <laughs> need to kill our way down this path here. Shouldn't be super hard. Uh, these are low-level mobs for us, so all we're gonna do is wait for this guy to path a little bit closer. And there we go. Okay. I just got knocked down. I guess they do a stun. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, I need to stock up a few more soul shards. I think be probably good for me. Yeah, probably good. The stuns the guy has are not fun. I probably should have doubted this guy a little bit more and not just like started soul training at like 40% or whatever I'm doing. Yeah. Winter's touch. Same one reduced by 27, spirit reduced by 27. Gross. Uh, I don't think we need to kill that guy. Probably jump over this fence. No, I'm not quite. <laughs> I have to run around it. Alright, here we go. Let's just actually dot this guy completely and then we'll uh yeah, a little bit better of a kill on this guy, I think. Tyrion Fordring's grave. I don't think Tyrion Fordring is dead. Isn't that the guy that we're really go see? I think I'm pretty confident Tyrion Fordring's alive. Or it's a ghost of Tyrion Fordring? I'm not actually sure. That could be it. Alright. Uh, what's down here? Another mob? Okay, we can handle that. Yeah, so these guys... I, I don't know how deep this crypt goes. It's, I've not really explored down here too much, but I guess I'll find out, you know, pretty soon. We are almost, by the way, almost halfway through level 59. We are seriously getting close to our final level up, and I'm excited for that. I really am. Like, once we hit that, I don't know what exactly I want to do next. I might work on our epic mount. That seems kind of fun. Because um, I haven't really worked on an epic mount for the Warlock class ever, and it's, it's a really cool quest line actually to do that. I'm, like, actually out of mana. So, let's, uh... Let's, uh, let's get some mana back, tap left, we'll life tap once, and then do some draining here. These stuns are gross. What a bad debuff. 27 stamina, 27 spirits, or 270 reduced health on top of 27 reduced spirits. Pretty significant for us, right? Yeah, that is pretty significant. Alright, let's do this. I want to turn on. I forgot I've died so many times, so I gotta turn on find minerals. I'm just gonna life tap a few times and steal some mana from Tang Moth. Oh wait, don't do that. Hey. I was like, I'm not in line of sight. I was like, how am I not in line of sight of that guy? Like, I kept not getting line of sight. I don't know what was going on there, but... Ooh, that guy's got like a nasty knockdown. That guy ran all the way down here to get the Grave Moss. That's interesting. I was wondering why he was down. I was like, why does 60 even bother? You know what really sucks? All those mobs are going to come and attack me in a moment, I think. Because they probably... 
are aggroing onto my healing that I've got on this guy, the second life. So I do have my health stun ready, I'll, I'll heal up and I'll be okay, but that's not gonna be fun. Oh, maybe I'll just run out of here now. Leaving combat? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Okay, oh. I thought that was the guy who was just down here. Did he just die? Nope. Okay, well that worked out. <laughs> I was like, oh man, I did not want to have that. I thought he was running down there to take the mob for, like, I thought he was like AoE grinding, or not, not like grinding, AoE farming. Like, he knew he was 60. And I didn't see what class he was, I wasn't paying attention, but I thought he might have been a spellcaster? My concern was that he was going down there for the sake of, um, just like pulling all the mobs upstairs and downstairs, and then gonna AoE them down and for gold or something. I don't know what he was doing, but obviously it was just for the grave moss, which is no big deal. Um, much less of a concern than I thought it was going to be. Okay, Nathaniel's Blight Caller himself. It's fun, if you're an Alliance character, you have quests that actually tell you to come and kill this guy. Which is kind of cool. To kill with purpose. Uh, do you have space for all these quests? We do. These are all just like, kill a bunch of mobs quests. Like, a lot of mobs. <laughs> uh, so where's... Child Undercity. Interesting. Okay. Well, now we are stacked on quests. Um, where is Borlgor at? I don't remember that guy wanders. I think he's around this center path, right? I was hoping Westy would just tell me, and then I could just go find him. Okay, let's... Uh... Well, I know in Corrin's Crossing, there's some quests we can do. The Kill with Purpose is the one I'm thinking of, right? Okay, yep, got it. So we got a mortar and pestle. So we need seven pieces of living rot, and living rot literally rots over time. So you have seven minutes from the, like when you loot one, they start degrading, they have like a timer before they disappear to your inventory. You have to get there and kill these mobs and collect the seven pieces quickly. And then, let's see, is it seven, right? Seven, click seven pieces of living rot in under 10 minutes, so within 10 minutes from the first one, then you can combine them into a coagulated rot. Uh, so we're just going to run over there and work on that quest. That seems like a reasonable quest to work on. Uh, we do have at least one quest turning here now from Zaldar, and I think, yeah, Carlin Redpath is over here. So that's from Pamela. Is that Pamela? Is that her name? The little person over here. I think it's Pamela. Uh, we can go um, turn in that quest bait later on. Yeah, I think we'll just work on killing some mobs, do some Corrin's Crossing quests, maybe come up here to the Kelphalos registry, registry eventually. We do need to find... Um, so, also, how many more quests? Yeah, a lot of quests from Tyrion. <laughs> Eventually, we want to find um, Egan up here, the rest of Souls quest. I don't know when we'll get to that, but yeah, so we're set. We have like plenty of quests. We can coast on quests all the way to 60 quests and rested experience. So, the, the, the combo wombo of efficient questing, I think. And uh, I think, yeah, it's gonna be pretty nice. What are we at slash played? We've at this level probably almost four hours. So we'll hit it. I was hoping originally I was gonna hit six days, I thought. We'll be like six days and change at this point. Um, not not awful. Let's double check this quest, it's been a while. Uh, what's it called? I'm forgetting which one. Uh, to kill purpose. Okay, any of the Scourge, I think can do this, or it can drop what we need. So it doesn't really matter, I think. I don't know if the ghosts can drop it, but we'll we'll, we'll just kill everything once and then see what happens. Um, I'm hoping these guys go down pretty easily. They're, they're, you know, standard mob. Fair enough, and too insane, I think. I think they just have a knockback, like they'll, yeah, like that. They'll like knock you back, so that's a little, a little annoying. I'm just hoping they drop what we need. Pattern, bright cloth, robe, living rot, okay. We will see if these guys also drop what we need. Um, it's living rot. Duration 10 minutes. Yep, so that's what we, we have to kill like pretty much one mob every like minute and 20 seconds, I think is roughly the math. I'm just kind of doing this in my head, but I think every minute 20 we have to kill a mob to get through this efficiently. What's this guy gonna curse me? Chance to hit radius. I don't really care about that. Okay, so these guys also drop living rot, which is perfect. Uh, as long as they all drop it, I think I'm in pretty good shape. I'm gonna try to pull this guy back here a little bit. Oh, that hits hard. Like, ugh. Spellcasters, man, they're like the worst mobs to fight. Like, they really do just like, 
send out some nasty, nasty stuff sometimes. Uh, not always. Oh, I resisted that. Great. That was, that's helpful. Well, it looks like I got 100% drop rate so far. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll settle for that. I can, not such a bad quest if you have a good drop rate, right? This is the kind of quest where, like, if they have a bad drop rate, you're super hosed. Like, there's nothing you can do, right? You can just kill them as best you want, but if the drop rate's awful, you're kind of screwed. So, handy to see that these drop rates are pretty good looking. There's a knockback, and now we're just gonna drain soul. Ah. Uh, ooh. So, there's been a lot. I feel like I've done a lot recently in real life, like outside of WoW. Um, my wife and I just celebrated our three year anniversary. Uh, we went to a baseball game for the main thing for that and went out and had some ice cream. Nothing fancy, it was, it was a lot of fun. We enjoyed it. We, uh, I recently got appointed to a, I was awarded, I guess, or applied for and received a position on a National Institutes of Health training grant. So it's like a fellowship, um, but it's like, it's a little bit different. So my university, my department has a grant from the National Institutes of Health to training grant. And that grant is renewed pretty much yearly. It's a fair amount of money uh, for the grant overall. And that money is split between supplies for, um, basically it's related to teaching. So like the whole purpose of the grant is to be able to fund several postdocs like me. There's like two postdocs annually that are funded and several grad students, like four grad students. Um, and I was one of the postdocs that applied and one of them that received the position on the grant. So I didn't personally receive a grant, but I received, uh, I was appointed to a fellowship position on the grant, if that makes sense. Um, it's a little bit different than getting my own grant. Well, these things stack, like, oh, don't stack, sorry. That's super inefficient. On the bright side, we had enough space, so we're fine, and we're about to kill the last mob we need. So we'll be done with this quest in a moment, uh, which I'm really excited about. <laughs> That's, this is, I was kind of worried. I was worried it'd be a tougher quest than it is. Look at that bright cloth robe we got, by the way. 16 frost resistance, 15 shadow. That's definitely uh, some Nexramus resist gear, but it's so low on there's no stats, so it kind of makes it not that good. Uh, check truthfully, just not not very good. All right, let's get our coagulated rot. I don't, I don't think there's a timer on the coagulated rot. Yeah, that's just good. Okay, sweet. So we're done with this quest. Um, let's... Do we just want to kill a bunch of plague bats now, or do we want to go chat with... Uh, let's see. Maybe I will... I don't know if there's a follow-up to this quest. I don't think there is. Let's go over here, though, and turn in the quest to kill a purpose at Nathanos. Nathanos. And then once we turn that in, we'll come back east and maybe kill some mobs along the way. Most of will go turn in the couple quests we have back at Light Lights Hope Chapel. And then, by the way, we'll, and then we'll continue with more quests up to the north of the zone. Look at these cool trees. I always like these trees. They're like trees that obviously have like faces painted into them or carved into them. And they're like smoking, but it's, it's I don't really know what they are. Like, I don't really understand the purpose besides they look cool, right? That's good enough for me. They look cool. Can we make a soul stone now? Are we good? It's close. Yes, we can. Okay, I, wasn't, I knew we were like close to having 30 minutes past. I wasn't sure if we were quite there yet. We were, which is great. So, yeah, I've just been uh, doing a lot in real life between anniversary, between um, that position. That position also, uh, kind of coming with it, is also a little more responsibility where a little higher expectations are placed upon me. So I'm really aiming... So it's a one-year position. So I was appointed starting in September, and it runs through September 2018. Uh, in that time, I have two goals. One is to get my own funding, to apply for a grant and get my own grant. And two is to hopefully publish a paper, like a scientifically peer-reviewed paper, that kind of thing, uh, in that time. So I've got a lot of work to do in the next 12 months or so. Uh, makes me a little anxious. Like, not, not like a bad level of ang ang anxiety, I think, but enough that I'm aware that I need to work hard and put in a little more, a few more hours every week, uh, think of things a bit more at home, that kind of stuff. So we're going to see what happens. But man, I, I tell you what, I've mentioned this before, my, my goal in life, career-wise, just career-wise, so I have my goal in life, but like speaking about my career, I really would like to be a professor. I think it'd be a lot of fun. I think it's a lot of work, but it's something that fits my interests like very closely. And I, I'm like well on the way. I've like gotten grants before, I've published papers, like I've mentored students, I've taught, I've done all this stuff. I got all the things that you need to do. The only thing left for me to do is publish one big paper 
I'll explain that in a moment. So let's turn in to kill with purpose. Now there isn't a follow-up, which is fine. But we get 9,000 experience. Now do we want to... I don't think I want to go see Tyrion right now. Like, it, uh, I don't think I want to. I think I'd rather come up and work on a couple quests we have over here. So, 9,000 experience. We are now literally... No, we're still not quite half the way, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We need one more bar to fill, then we'd be halfway. So, uh, oh, there's Duskwing. Duskwing is meant for a large quest. Not a large quest, but a quest, but not a quest that we have. So, we're not worried about Duskwing. Boral Gore, I think, is around this area somewhere. He's like a giant worm, one of these giant carrions. Um, I would like to find him and kill him for our quest, because he's not hard for us to kill. We can just fear him, I think. But whether... Whether we're gonna uh, do that or not, I don't know. Crown Guard Tower. This tower looking a little bit, little, little, little crushed, right? A little, little defunct. Um, so I was saying, I. So to be a professor, you really need to, in a research field. So I'm in like microbiology, let's say broadly. Um, I'm expected as a professor at almost any university to teach classes and to do research. And to do research, you need money. So to get money, they also expect you to apply for and receive grants from, like. The U.S. Department of Agriculture, the National Institutes of Health, Department of Defense, Department of Energy, that kind of stuff, or private industry grants, whatever. They just expect you to get money uh, so you can fund your research. Um, the universities will often start you up with money as a new professor. So if you're at like um, UCLA, uh, University of California, Los Angeles, and you get hired as a professor in microbiology, you'll you know get your salary, of course, and you'll get benefits, all that kind of good stuff. That's your personal money. But then the university or the department will usually hook you up with anywhere between 100,000 and maybe several million dollars uh, as research funding um, that starts off when you get there. And that money is not for your salary at all. It's just to help get your research started because they know right away you probably don't have a grant starting off. So, oh my gosh, I did not mean to run through these so badly. Please don't daze me. Uh, so they try and help you out, give you some money to kickstart your research uh, with the expectation that you're gonna use that money efficiently to hire grad students, hire postdocs, uh, scientists for your lab, to pay for supplies, and then hopefully publish a few big papers and then get some grants. That's what they expect. So that startup funding, that's what it's called, startup funds. It varies, but like I said, like, you know, big school, you're talking maybe a million dollars plus. Uh, smaller schools, you're talking maybe 100 to $500,000, um, which sounds like a lot of money, but $100,000 doesn't go very far in research, unfortunately. Um, you could spend $100,000 on one piece of equipment. You could spend $100,000 on hiring two grad students. I mean, like, by the time you pay for the student's tuition and they're, and they're a little, it's like a small stipend, uh, and, and at least two to four years of funding, depending if they're master's or PhD, or two to five, two to six years for PhDs. $100,000 doesn't, doesn't go much more than that. Um, so it really does run out quickly. Now, by the way, we're back at Light's Hope Chapel. So I want to come up here and turn in our first quest. This is the Zaildar. I think his name is Zaildar, right? The head of the outcast. Let's find this guy. Good day to you. Zaildar, the outcast. Big quest. 6,000 experience. Hello. Huh, okay, whatever. I'll take it. Um... I would appreciate it if no one kills me here. That would be super nice. <laughs> we already died a bunch of times over here. One of those times I'm still not sure would kill me. What can I do for you? Uncle Carlin, we found him. Okay. 4200 experience. Nice. 315 Darrow Shire Spirits and return to Crown Red Path. Um. Okay. That's easy enough. We saw some of those already. We talked to one. Those are just the mobs, like ghouls, if you kill a ghoul or whatever. Uh, they have a chance, I think 100% chance for ghouls and stuff to drop, or not to drop, but to have a spirit pop out of them. And then you can um, free that spirit. And that's what, that's what Carlin Redpath is asking us to do. So let's pop this. Defenders of Darrowshire. Let's pop that on our quest tracker. Okay, now I kind of want to go over here and just see if we can find Boral Gore. 
But otherwise, I want to head all the way up here and work on this the Ranger's Behest quest. But yeah, Borogor would be nice to find. Anyway, so we're going to come up here and work on the Ranger Lord's the Ranger Lord's Behest quest. That seriously rhymes. And keep her head on a swivel for... Oh my gosh, that poison icer is going to kill this mob now. Wow, that's gross. That is a 66% reduced movement speed for like 25 seconds. Was that what it was? Sick. We do have to kill these guys anyway, but I don't know if I want to kill 20 of those if they slow us. That's sick. Maybe we should just kill them. Probably be better. I mean, definitely this guy we're going to kill because we're not going to run away from him anyway at this point. I guess they're easy to kill. That's that's a perk. Let's see, anyone seen Borogor? Looking for Mr. Borogor himself, paging paging Borogor. <laughs> That'd be nice to find that find that big fat carrying grub and get him done. I love quests like that. Kill one mob and you're done. Like that Zaildar the Outcast quest. That was perfect. Oh, that guy resisted. That's nasty. Uh, that was a great quest. We kind of kill a couple mobs, go down to him, kill the guy. And then turn him in for like 9,000 experience. What was it? 6,000? That's solid. I'm happy with that. That was a good quest. We should not be here. This is a very bad spot to stand. We are literally in line with the raid groups that are running through here. And any one of those, any one of those would destroy us. We are super not geared enough for that. Um, so I want to move out of this path. Because like I'm just tempting fate, right? There's no way that this is a good decision. What I'm hoping for is to find... I see, I don't remember if World War really travels along. I don't know if he really travels along there. I don't think he does. I think um, he's nearby, but I don't think he's actually in this path. That guy's pretty big. I was like, oh, that's Borogor. No, Borogor's actually even bigger. Uh, what I'm doing is running west, and then I'm going to go north up here for that quest, the behest quest. <laughs> uh, but I figured if I run along here, see if Borogor does pop up, because I can't remember where he's at. Blackwood Lake. 620 experience. I love how much experience we get from just exploring. What are these guys? Some more water elementals? Okay. Cool. Oh, I don't see uh, anything that looks like a oral gore around here. We do have more of these monstrous plague bats. Maybe we'll kill some of these on the way back down, but for now I think we'll just go up here to the Lord's... The Lord's Behest Quest. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna amuse myself far too much. I really like words that rhyme, and I especially like alliteration. So you get something that has a similar sound at the beginning of the uh, words, back to back. Like, uh, oh, what am I thinking of? What's an example? Uh, I don't know, just like, have a fun flight. Like if you're flying, like, I don't know, the F sounds at the beginning. I enjoy those. Have you ever played, um, is it called Apples to Apples? Is that the card game? The like, kind of board game card game? I always appreciate anyone that picks alliterative alliterative uh, combinations. I usually will vote for those as my choice. Or, um, oh god, what's the name of that card game? Cards Against Humanity. Sometimes I'll go for alliteration even if it doesn't make sense. But it's a little bit harder to do alliteration in that game. Okay, so anyway, we are taking down a woodsman, which these guys are going to be a little annoying. I think we can sneak past a lot of these. I think, I didn't mean to pull this guy. Gosh, maybe not. Maybe we really do have to clean through these. There's quite a few here. Uh, it might be not easy for us to just walk, waltz through. Wait, where did that guy come from? Did that guy just spawn or has he been here all along? Oh, you know what? I just realized we have to kill these guys anyway. I wasn't paying any attention. Um, let's back up a little bit. Because I know this patrol's going to come down here in a moment. Uh, I'm just going to shadow bolt this guy try and speed up the killing on this one, so we're not fighting both for as long of a period of time. And let's finish this. Okay, dead. Not so bad. Yeah, so we have to kill- I forgot, this quest isn't just picking up the registry, we actually have to kill a bunch of mobs. So, we might as well just do that fairy fire. Zero armor, thank you so much. Gosh. Debuffs, man. Debuffs are gross. Always nasty things. Vanilla debuffs are the worst. A minute of basically zero armor. Ouch. Of literally zero armor, not basically, actually zero armor. Oh boy. This is gonna be a long fight up here. Well, wow. okay. Uh I just tap twice and then bandage. It's probably the fastest way to get through this. 
You might notice my inventory is like full. <laughs> like I have all these bars and different things. I meant to clear out some of that and I never did. Uh, whoops. That's like, seems to happen to me a lot. I think I'm not very good at keeping track of my uh, bags. Like I know I'm always full, but I never spend the time to actually empty it out. It's kind of dumb. This guy's gonna be really hard and Tangwath is not drawing aggro at all. I'm gonna... I'm gonna death quell this guy to give me a moment of reprieve from him blasting me to death. Wow, rangers hit really hard. Um, I need to be careful with those guys. Like, they're they're problematic if they start targeting me. Maybe I should start fearing those guys when we're in, like, a good spot for that. I don't know what's a good spot versus a bad spot, but, like, you know, this may be a decent spot to fear them. Or maybe it's just being melee range, right? They don't hit as hard. Oh, let's just fear this guy. Screw it. You know what's gonna happen, though. Oh, first of all, fear just broke. <laughs> God damn, dang it. Uh, is this quest even doable for us? Like, can we even complete this quest? I'm like starting to get nervous that maybe it's not doable because I'm worried they're going to respawn before we get through here. We'll see, I guess. That's uh, eh, a good experience. So how much experience are we getting? 700? Yeah, I'm, I'm good with that. We, well, we're, we're making the grind, so it's, you know, that's fine. <laughs> as long as we're still... As long as we're still working on getting good experience, then it's fine. What do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we're more than halfway now. We are... Absolutely more than halfway done. You are leveling. Uh, 59 to 60. And like the goal here is to hit 60, but it's to uh, also you know, have fun doing it, right? I'm not like, grinding here. I'm killing mobs that I want to kill and working on quests I want to work on. And this seems like kind of a tough quest, which is kind of fun to kind of go out in style, right? Like work our way through a tough quest maybe here at the end as we uh, try to ding 60. I mean, we're going to ding 60. I'm going to eventually do it, but whether... We do it by dying a bunch or not? I guess I'll find out soon. Okay, let's... I'm gonna suck some man off Tang Moth. He's got like nothing now. Uh, which is also bad because that means he can't taunt, but yeah, he'll get over it. So we're working our way up, and then once we get up here, there's an opening. We can clear the right. We've got the stupid uh, hut. We have to kill our way into. We can probably send Tang Moth in just to um, distract people, and then we can loot the thing we need real quick. Probably be okay doing that. I'm gonna death blow this guy to once again kind of uh, just fear him off us for a moment. Okay. I'm gonna go through a lot of bandages, but we're also collecting rune cloth, which is handy. Speaking of which, let's make a few more bandages. Okay, nothing to respawn behind me. That's a good sign. That's what I'm worried about. So we're just going to kill too slowly. And the mobs are going to stack up on us. And we're going to get, like, destroyed. Okay, demon armor is almost gone. Let's, I guess we're going to have to do this. I need to use another bandage in a moment here. Does the bandage full heal us? 2,000? Almost. We have 2,400 health. Um, someone's paying 5,000 gold for help with leveling. They're out. Good for you guys. Uh, good for that guy. I mean, I, I don't know. I wish I had 5,000 gold. Uh, not so much I wouldn't buy gold, because, man, I don't. I still don't. I, I, I've said this before. I get why people buy gold. I, I, I understand it, because, like, the amount of time it would take to farm gold is, is more than I make, like, per hour at my job. So, like, from that standpoint, it kind of makes sense to just buy gold instead of spending time farming it because it's more efficient for you to do other things in your life than farm gold. But if you enjoy farming gold and you enjoy the way you're collecting it, then it's not really so bad, right? Um, and it's a game, so you should hopefully be enjoying most of it, but I don't know. I've never bought gold and I never will because I don't care enough. Like, I don't need gold that badly. So, I don't really worry about it. Alright, let's... There we go, okay. So, you know, I, don't, I just, I won't ever buy gold. I just have better things to do with my money. Um, and I just don't care enough. How much of age we bandage heals for? 1100? Okay, so let's not do that. Let's just keep using our regular bandages. I, I would sit and eat, but bandaging is so much faster. Like, it's just so much more efficient. So I just tend to prefer to do that. Um, as you've probably noticed. Okay, I don't see anyone else over here. I want to go and get this registry, because after that we can kind of just do whatever to kill the mobs we need to kill. But getting the registry is going to be a pain. 
I think in general. I think our best bet is to uh, like work our way over there and just get it as soon as we can. Oh my, oh my. Uh, we gotta clear this guy, like ASAP. Let's kill this one down as best we can now. I don't really know where the- oh, he resisted our Shadow Bolt, that's bad. I don't really know where that other one came from. I should have been downing this one all along, but I was worried it would- oh god. I was worried it would break- oh, he air fired Tang Moth, interesting. I was worried that if I dotted him, he would break fear. I didn't want to mess with that. Oh, let's just kill this guy off. Real quick, come on, let's do it. I'm optimistic that we'll be able to kill him. Okay. Yep. Got him. Now I wanna go get our um I wanna go get our registry. Okay, we I probably should have tapped once before I banish, that's okay. Uh the registry I think is over here to the right. I don't think we can run in that building. I think we do have to like literally kill these mobs. Let's do that. Let's kill this guy off. If you hear a faint humming sound in the background, that's my wife's hair dryer. My wife is getting ready for the work day, drying her hair. And uh, <laughs> I'll edit it out later. Like I can kind of cut that sound down a bit so you might not even hear it. But if you do hear it faintly, listen carefully. That's my wife's hair dryer. She's actually in the bathroom down the hall. Like it's like through a living room, a short hallway. And then she's there. The problem is that, not really a problem, she always blow dries her hair, blow dries, blow dries her hair with the bathroom door open because it gets so hot in there otherwise. So it's like, even though it's through a door, this door, living room, short hallway, into the bathroom, it's only through one doorway. So it like picks it up pretty obviously. And this microphone's pretty sensitive. So it can pick up those things pretty reasonably. Now I'm just trying to see where the registry is. I think it's on a ledge. Oh god. All right, let's, let's line of sight this guy. That's fine. We're almost through here, so we'll be we'll be out soon. Okay, where is the registry? It says it's like over there, according to Questy. But Questy's uh, known to be wrong sometimes, right? We've we experienced this many times in our leveling process. I am glad that we're almost done with these stupid. Uh, but let's make a health stone and then bandage. We almost killed enough rangers, at least, which is nice. Okay, I'm gonna clear to the right, even though I don't see it just yet. I don't know where it's supposed to be here. Huh. I don't see it. I'm like kind of worried I'm not gonna find it here. I'm gonna fear this guy, which is probably a big mistake. Or we'll find out in a moment. I'm trying to keep Tang Moth alive, at least till I kill one of these two mobs. That'd be really, really nice. Oh dear god. Okay, I think we're good. Let's pull back Tang Moth. Okay. Uh, let's just sacrifice Tang Moth, because he's about dead anyway. So I'll just sacrifice him, kind of gives me a little more protection, I think we'll be good. Okay, where is this registry now? There it is, got it, okay. I, I was like, where is this thing? I know it's supposed to be over here. I thought it was like a scroll. It's actually a book, so I wasn't looking for the right object. That, oh my gosh, this guy. Just Shadow Tran, oh, I'm out of mana. Oh, okay, I, I was silenced, I guess? Oh, we got a uh, elegant belt of the owl, cool. Okay. Let's loot this. Now, I'm just going to dip out of here, going back the way we came, I guess. So I was going to jump out, but I don't think I can safely do that. But I think I can safely run out of here and kind of hide in this corner. I know there's a mob near here somewhere, but I think this is reasonable. Alright, so we're going to stop the episode here for today. So we're going to come back next time and we're going to finish killing 
Uh, woodsman and Path Strider. So we need six more Path Striders, one more Ranger, four more Woodsman. But we're in a decent spot here, I think. It's fairly safe. So I think I can just chill. Is there a mob over here? I thought there was one up on this hill here, but I don't see anything. So I, oh, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one. Okay. Ranger, okay. We're good here. We can, I think we're totally safe in this spot. We'll find out next time we come back. Uh, anyway, uh, we're very close. Next episode, we might hit 60. I'm not sure. Probably not. We're getting very close, though. But that is all for today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.